Apache OS versus Nobara. Which obscure Linux distro should you use? Two under-the-radar Linux projects. Two very different goals. Today, we'll pit Cache OS against Nobara to help you decide which one deserves a spot on your SSD. Whether you want blistering desktop speed or a Fedora-based distro that just works for gaming, this video breaks down the real-world strengths, quirks, and who each distro is really for. Short version, Cache OS is a performance-first Arch-based distro with user-friendly tools that make Arch approachable and very fast. Nobara is a Fedora spin tuned for everyday use and gaming. It ships codecs, drivers, and gaming tooling out of the box so you don't have to spend hours configuring it. Cache OS Deep Dive. What it is. An Arch-based, performance-tuned distribution that has recently attracted a lot of attention. It emphasizes speed, multiple kernels, and a broad choice of desktop environments. Installer and desktops. Cache OS lets you pick from many desktop environments at install time. KDE, Cosmic, GNOME, XFCE, Hyperland, i3, Sway, and more. That makes it flexible whether you want a polished plasma desktop or a minimal tiling setup. User-friendly tools. It includes a welcome app, Cache OS Hello, and a GUI package installer intended to lower the barrier to Arch-style rolling releases. Those tools make many post-install tasks simpler than a pure Arch experience. Kernel and performance focus. Cache OS provides a kernel manager and the ability to use multiple slash bleeding edge kernels easily. A clear selling point if you care about latency, new hardware support, or squeezing extra performance out of your system. What that means for you. If you like a fast, tweakable desktop and don't mind the rolling release model, but would appreciate GUI helpers to avoid a purely manual Arch experience, Cache OS is a strong candidate. Nobara Deep Dive. What it is. A Fedora-based distribution focused on providing a polished, ready-to-use desktop with strong gaming support. Codecs, drivers, and gaming helpers are packaged and configured by default. Additions. Nobara offers multiple ISOs. Official, Custom KDE, GNOME, KDE, Stock, Steam HTPC, and Steam Handheld, plus NVIDIA-flavored ISOs for easier driver support. That makes it easy to pick a flavor that matches your device. Desktop, HTPC, Handheld. Gaming and Multimedia. Nobara ships tools and patched packages geared toward gaming. Example, pre-configured Steam, Proton, Proton Plus tooling, Lutris, and patched GameScope. So many games just work better out of the box. The project also maintains targeted package patches to improve real-world game performance and compatibility. Fedora Base Advantages You get Fedora's stable foundation and relatively conservative update model, while Nobara adds the extra drivers, codecs, and user-facing tweaks that Fedora intentionally omits for philosophical reasons. What that means for you, Nobara. If you want set it and forget it for gaming or a full-featured desktop without hunting for third-party packages, Nobara is very attractive. Side-by-side -side practical comparison. Target user. Cache OS. Tinkerers who want Arch performance with GUI helpers. Users who like switching kernels and customizing DEs. Nobara. Gamers, creators, and users who want a ready-to-use Fedora experience with minimal setup. Stability and updates. Cache OS. Rolling. Arch-based. More bleeding edge. Occasional breakage is possible, but mitigated by project tools. Nobara. Based on Fedora releases, more conservative and predictable for users who prefer release cycles. Hardware and drivers. Cache OS. Fast kernels and kernel manager make it great for extracting performance and supporting newer hardware quickly. Nobara. Includes NVIDIA-friendly ISOs and gaming-related driver slash config tweaks to reduce friction for GPU users. Gaming. Cache OS. Good, especially if you install necessary game stacks, but requires more manual setup compared to Nobara. Nobara. Excellent out of the box. Proton slash Proton Plus, patched game scope, and pre-installed gaming helpers make it plug and play. Ease of use. Cache OS. 
easier than raw Arch thanks to GUIs and welcome apps, but still aimed at intermediate users. Nobara, designed for immediate usability, a strong pick for users who want everything pre-configured. When to pick which? Choose Cache OS if you want an Arch-style rolling experience but prefer GUI helpers, want the fastest possible desktop responsiveness, like to experiment with kernels, or want an easy path to try many desktop environments. Choose Nobara if you want a dependable workstation or gaming PC with the least amount of post-install setup, care about quick GPU support, and prefer a Fedora foundation with extra user-facing polish. Final verdict and tips. Both are excellent, but they answer different questions. If your priority is raw speed and the Arch ecosystem with friendly tools, go Cache OS. If you want to plug in a controller, install Steam, and play the latest titles with minimal fuss, go Nobara. Try them in live sessions or in virtual machines first. You'll get a feel for their defaults fast. If you liked this breakdown, hit like and subscribe for more distro comparisons. Comment with which distro you want to see next, or your experience with Cache OS or Nobara. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye.